I was hoping we'd pick something up like this back here. It might just be that magic G word. Well, any good catfishing trip starts with some good fresh bait. I'm gonna set a 50 foot gill net right here if you're interested in seeing how that works. I've got a link I'll post up top right here. So go ahead and check that out. That'll show you how to set a net even though you can see a lot of the details right here. But we're gonna let this soak for a little bit, then come back and hopefully have some good gizzard shad and maybe some hickory shad in here if we get lucky. We've made it out to our spot in just about record time with this little Honda. It's the first trip for that motor. Usually it takes me about 45 to 50 minutes to get out here. It only took about 22, so that is good news. We are on a channel ledge right now. You saw that in one of our recent videos. We're out near the same spot. We've got a couple baits cast out into the main channel and a couple out on the flat behind me. So we're gonna see where the fish are this morning. We're gonna try and cover a couple ranges of depth here and we'll let the fish tell us where to fish today. All right, something's about to take this down, I think. Here we go. Take it, take it, take it. Come on. That rod's about to go down any minute now. He's playing with it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's reel on him, all right. All right, there he is. Let's see what we got here. This one is right on the channel ledge. Cast it way out there. This might be the headpiece if I recall. I think it is. Good piece of gizzard shad. I've got a lot for bait today. I've got some hickory shad, I've got some white perch, and I've got some gizzard shad. Everything was caught yesterday except for the gizzard shad which I caught this morning. So I've just got that out right now while it's the freshest bait that I have. I'll start playing around with some other stuff here in a little bit. This might be a halfway decent fish here. It's gonna pull a little bit. I'm just sitting here watching some osprey. They're building a nest right next to me. Every stick that goes by, they're flying down to grab it. I'll try and get some video of that later if I can. That's a solid fish. I'll take it. Chunky little fella. All right, let's get this guy in the fish and the boat. All right, check that fish out. That's a 28 and a half inch blue. If you check out his little fin right here, that's the second one in a row that I've caught. I caught one recently in another trip that had that ripped off as well. That looks like it's been I like that for a little while though on him, it's already healed. But we're gonna get him out of here and hopefully get some baits back down there. We'll try some perch out next, see if they want that. All right, later buddy. Look at this one go. There's some drag, there's some drag. Let's get him. All right. Only been at this new spot about 15, 20 minutes. Let's see what this fish is up to. He's running up onto the flat. Came up out of the channel, I believe. Hard to tell exactly where his bait landed, but I think it was on the ledge or down there somewhere. Oh, that's a big striper. Look at that. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh, he just let go. Hope you saw that on camera. That was a big striper. That was cool. He took that headpiece of perch on that big, probably eight-odd hook, and he ran with it. Let's try and catch another one of those. That'd be fun. All right, well, the bite's pretty slow out here. Aside from that striper that we missed, I had one other tap in about 40 minutes. So I'm going to pull up, 
It's actually getting kind of windy, so I'm gonna run way across a pit and just let the wind push me all the way across it and drag and suspend some baits. I think it's about 10 to 15 feet deep all the way through there. I've actually never been to the other side, so today sounds like a good day to try it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. fishing a mud bottom and I throw it down in two mile an hour current that thing holds like crazy. And sorry for no commentary on that when I was on the phone with Daniel Rimmer. He's the owner of Never Lost Anchors. Always have one of those on my kayak. Have one in the boat too. We fish a really muddy bottom here in the James River. It's almost entirely really soft mud and uh, that thing holds even in two and three mile an hour current. It's only a seven pound anchor if it's right under my seat. Make sure you check those out. Okay, I'll put a link down there in the description box. He's a good dude. If you have any questions, he'll give you a call and talk to you, whatever you need to do. So check out Never Lost Anchors. All right, here we go. Looks like we got fish on on this side. Probably another small one. I'm just doing some drifting through here. I haven't done this in a while. I have picked up some big fish in this spot before, but we'll see what happens. It'd be good for slot fish, that's for sure. Although this one's not going to fit that ticket. Just a little guy. They're loving this hickory shad. All right, let's get him out of here. All right, I just went over some big marks and I was hoping they'd hook up and I've got drag peeling like crazy back here. Look at this. Well, now he's going to run at me. Let's not mess around with this fish too much. We gotta make sure we land it. He's only in 10 feet of water, so who knows where he's gonna go. Right now he's swimming at me. That's probably about to change. Sorry about that wind we've got here. But here we go. It's about to get real. He's right underneath us now. Should show up on the graph. Maybe not. Okay, now he's gonna go to the side and pull a little bit. That's a nice fish. That's a really nice fish. I was hoping we'd pick something up like this back here. It might just be that magic G word. Yeah, that's a really nice fish. It's got to be a goober on the Santee Drifters. It feels like it's almost Santee Cooper out here. I'm just pulling along, getting blown by the wind. Water's getting a little rough. That seemed like the best option right now. He's an angry fish. You can't blame him after having a hook in his mouth. I'm just gonna let him tire himself out in here so we can handle him in the kayak. I saw those, or at least one fish on the graph. He might have a buddy with him, I'm not sure. But he was nose down, looked like he was feeding, and turns out once my lines hit him, he came after it. He ate a piece of hickory shad. I've got a piece of perch out there and three pieces of hickory shad. Some really good fresh bait. That's gonna be a nice fish. I'm about two thirds of the way across this little bay here. It's a pit off the James River. It's kind of like its own little lake. We got some bass fishermen back here and whatnot. But that is a solid fish.
All right, let's get this fish in the boat. I still don't know if he's tired. He's tough to manage. That's gonna be a big fish. Okay, now the real fight begins. He's up next to the boat. He swallowed that hook. All right. That's a nice fish. All right, and here is this rod up front getting hit. Oh boy. We just had another rod get hit that's dragging. All right, well that fish is just over 39 inches. Got to get him back in the water while I was dealing with him. My other rod went down, so I got to see if that fish is still on there. Yep, he is. All right, there's a double. He hit it hard too. I guess he's just been going along for the ride ever since. Let's see what we got here. Feels like another halfway decent fish. Swimming right at the boat now. This could be a heck of a double. Maybe he did have a friend with him. That's a good fish. Awesome, the other Santee Drifter went down. Suspended baits have not been touched much. We got hooked on the headpiece. Let's get him in here. Good fish. All right, that was a good double. You can tell by the bellies on these fish that they have been munching. His mouth is all red around the edges, so he's probably been eating all kinds of big fish. All right, I gotta get those Santee drifters in the water. They are the ones catching fish. Time for him to get out of here. Oh yeah, he goes 31 and a half inches, almost perfect for a slot fish. We got another drag peeler back here. Chest cameras died. I haven't gotten a chance to fix those batteries yet. This is on that headpiece again. There's a little stinger hook on there, so hopefully if they just bite the tail end of it, you can still catch them. This feels like a decent fish. I'm gonna have to stare at my stupid face this whole time. There's a couple of them in here feeding can sometimes pay off to try something new if your standard approach isn't working. That's another great fish. Stinger hook got him. there for a minute I got to get this other Santee drifter out here they're munching on him I don't want to miss an opportunity all right let's grab him Point seven five inches, another great slot fish. Let's get that rod back in the water. I'll show you what I mean by a stinger hook if you're not sure. So I've got the headpiece with a traditional hook in it. A lot of times they just bite the tail end of it and you fight the fish up to the boat and then he lets go. So what you can do is take a stinger hook and just pop it out the back side here. And just have that little piece right here. So if they short bite it, you can still get a chance of a hookup. So I've caught two fish on that headpiece set up that way. One was on the stinger hook and one was on the regular hook. So it can pay off. Well, I just picked up on this one. He started peeling drag immediately. 
I ran across my other line. So let's hope he's not tangled in it. Got the chest cam back up and running. Could we have another goober here? I don't know. He's all wound up in something back there, just spinning, spinning, spinning. I think he just grabbed my line and spun is all. Another great slot fish. Woo! Now he's angry. There we go. Alright, so that's a 30 inch fish right on the money. He's got to go. I'm about to hit a tree. Alright, someone's after this bait. Might just be a little fish. Someone's on the one behind it too. Let's see here. Oh yeah, we got this one. Nope, they're just tied together. Now that's two different fish. Look at that. That's a striper. All right. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's going on over here. So let me hit this one as well. This is a heavier fish. He's just sitting down there like a log. He's fighting pretty good, but he's just heavy. That's a blue cat. All right, good double. Let's get this striper in the boat. Oh man, there he goes. Well, that's two in a row that did that. Let's see, maybe the catfish will play nice. There we go. All right, 29.75 inches. Look how skinny he is. He doesn't have that fat belly like the rest of them. He's out, actually out in the current. So let's let him go so he can keep eating. He's out of here. We gotta get a fresh bait on that back rod. We kept our bait on this front rod. We gotta drop those back down. This is a good little channel we're drifting now. All right, we got a fish on right here. He just bent that thing right over into the water. Don't know what it is though. Odds are it's blue cat. Although <laughs> the way things are going today, who knows? It's right along a channel ledge. I've done a really long drift out here. I've gone through like three phases of the river up here. It's a good blue. Okay, 27 and three quarters. I was kind of hoping it'd be a little bit bigger than that, but that's all right. We gotta get these lines organized. We got a barge coming through. Later, dude. We got a couple miles into this drift already. The wind is playing just right to push me way down river. Good thing I got a nice little motor to get me back. This is a nice fish. It's fighting good. The only problem here is the wind's trying to push me up against the shore, so I'm using my pedals to get me out a little bit. That's really the only adjustment I have to make here. There we go. Good fish. Got some pretty good quality today. 
Only one really big one. All right, 29.75 inches. We gotta get him out of here. All of my rods are getting snagged up. Later, dude. All right, we just got thumped right here. I'm not sure if he's gonna hang around or if he's gone. Looks like he's still on there. All right, he's running. Let's pick up on him. He's running right at us. We gotta get that slack out of there. I did pass over a whole pile of fish. Of course, this helicopter and the wind are not gonna cooperate with me right now. It's just a little guy. He hit it really hard. He actually pulled a little bit of drag too. Unfortunately, it looks like he stole my bait. That's the worst part about it. He did, that little bugger. Let's get him out of here. Good takedown right here, look at that. All right, I think he's on. I'm drifting up into some shallower water here. We're out in 26 feet now. This is a good takedown. A lot of smaller size fish are here, trying to work on my slot tournaments right now. He fits the bill. I wish they'd stop taking my bait though. Good thing I got a lot of it. All right, another good, healthy, chunky blue cat. Time for some more bait. Really big hit right here. This is gonna be a better fish than we've been getting into, I think. Or who knows. They are charged up today, that's for sure. But man, he took this thing over and it rocked the whole boat. I got quite a bit of line out there too. And he let go, come on. Ah. Man, that stinks. That was a big perch piece. Look at this fish go. Peeling some drag on me. We got a huge ship coming up the river. Let's see what we've got for this fish though. We'll have plenty of time to land it before I think it's up here. We are almost to the end of our drift. Probably about 10 or 15 more minutes then we're gonna call it for the day. I've got a long journey back home. We're gonna put some hours on this outboard. Maybe half of one, but still need to put some time into it. This is gonna be a nice fish. It was on another body section of perch. They're really loving that right now. We've got everything migrating up from the Chesapeake Bay. We've got the hickory shad, which have been in some of my recent videos. They're a lot of fun to catch. The white perch are up here and then the striper are starting to follow too, as we saw a bit today. They're starting to show up with a little more regularity. This is gonna be a good fish. He's pulling hard. Oh yeah, really nice fish. That could be a goober. He's gonna be close to that goober mark, very close. All right, we just gotta get him in here. A good little chunk. He's long and he's got some weight to him. Not quite sure if he's going to be a goober or not, but he's going to be close. Just need a little bit more slack here. And we're going to go ahead and grab him. All right, that's a good fish. It's a really good fish. All right, that's gonna be a 37 inch fish right there. Not quite a goober, but he's close. Give him a, a couple months and he'll get there. We gotta get ready for this barge coming through, so he's gotta get out of here in a hurry, which I'm sure he won't be too upset about. I try to take my fingers with him and he's out of here just as fast as he showed up. All right, probably about five or 10 more minutes on this drift. Let's see if we can put another fish or two in the boat. Well, I think it's about time we call it for today. It's starting to get windy and rough out here. 
We had a slow start to the day, but caught some really great fish. It would have been nice to land those striper, but there's always next time. So we hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to that channel. We are on our way to that thousand subscriber mark and we'd really appreciate your help. Check out this playlist up here. It shows a lot of our big old goobers. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.